All right, this is, uh, is this bus number three or bus number four? It actually might be the fourth bus. <laughs> we took the wrong bus. Is this the fourth? We dropped our skis off four. to get waxed with our homie Tanner, who's covering for Hodge. We got COVID. Um, and we took the wrong bus and we got to the wrong spot. And so then we went and talk, asked somebody who said, how do we get back to the Olympic Village? And they said, oh, this bus. And now this is bus number three. <laughs> oh, this is the bus. Oh, this is the bus you should take <laughs> to the Olympic Village. But well, we're gonna get there. One day. <laughs> Allegedly. What do you think, Bark? Honestly, I'm not having too high hopes. I don't <laughs> think we're gonna make it. Um, no. Worst I mean, case scenario, we call Mike. No, we go straight to the top. We call Elise. We say, Elise, we don't know where we are. Send in a chopper. I'll drop you a pin. <laughs> Come pick me up, please. I'm lost <laughs> and I can't get up. <laughs> well, as you can see, the uh, accommodations here at the village in Beijing are not bad. This is my third Olympics, and this is definitely the best setup we've ever had. Nicest spot. Um, the village is pretty dope. Riding bikes around is fun. And uh, yeah, we've had a pretty good, fun couple days. We've done our best to combat jet lag by running around and staying active, doing some workouts, if, you know, not get sore, but at least get enough workout in to keep your muscles and your nerves firing and ready to go skiing. And uh, yeah, it's been fun. We did our press conference today, which kind of got me more like, I don't know, just in the Olympic mode, um, <clears throat> and uh, checking the spot out. There's some really cool stuff for athletes here. Uh, they have a virtual reality section where you can go and like try to shoot your buddy in VR, kind of like Halo or any other of those uh, shoot 'em up games. But like you're actually running around the whole thing. It's pretty fun. Aaron and I did that yesterday for like an hour because nobody else was in line so we just kept going again and again that's pretty fun um played some video games learned trying to learn how to play golf on video games which is not my not my mo but um it's just been a it's been an interesting couple days but i'm stoked to uh get into the halfback tomorrow and see what's see what's really like kind of start to find that routine again. I think it's important to take time to, at least it's important for me to go off by myself and just have some time to reflect and spend some time in a good word and just remember all of the things that go on outside of skiing and then just enjoy the skiing aspect. And um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys at the half tomorrow. I will show you back that.